Hi, it's David from Watch David again. Good to have you back. I brought something really cool something really cool today, and this time something from G-Shock. Please have a look at this. Flare Red, special model, 40 years of G-Shock. The anniversary celebrations are coming up. A beautiful GWG 2040FR1AER. A very nice watch. Flare Red is the name of this good piece. And that's if you look here again, the subject is the solar flare and this is found in the bezel. Pretty freaky, because there there is also a loom in it and the watch looks really good. There was also an individual logo created here for the 40 years. The celebrations are coming up. Founded in 1983 and 40 years in 2023 and G-Shock starts now with some special models and as I said there are two flared reds. I'll show you the other one right now. This is the MTG version. The video went online at the same time. I have both videos online. I have both of them up once. Mega. So also on the wrist, they wear really well. I already have a few MTGs and also the GWGs, I have already had a few tests, also videos. Links is always below in the description. And also for this watch I have a detailed review on the blog with some cool photos. Take a look. Link is always also below in the description. The watch has already been through several endurance tests here with me, including at the G-Shock event. Not that one, of course, but another model. And this variant here. Here you can also see nicely on the crown. On the crown, here in the clasp. For stars, 40 years. It is all in such a bronze tone. It's really busy here too. Look at this place. Strong, isn't it? Yes, I'll do a quick hands-on in a minute. Packaging and the like I don't have yet. The watches are practically out now, are now available for order in the G-Shock store. Also in the real store in Hamburg you can buy the watch. Have a look there. Whoever is near there can then put them on the arm beforehand and see if this is, is the right thing for you. If you wanted a bit more choose the MTG. This one is a bit more serious. And if you want to get out into the fresh air, they vote for the GWG. I always found that anyway always with the Mud Master models. It's really, really busy here. And now have fun with the hands-on. The first impression. Look at it. Everyone who knows the Mudmaster also knows the Darth Vader face. I still think it's mega. The design of this watch, really the cracker and now with flare red. The solar flare says hello. Really pretty cool. And the cool thing is, check out this brute. It's even lighter than the MTG. This is unbelievable, I think. Superb workmanship as always. I also think it's great that they now have two versions, the Mudmaster and the MTG, both in flare red. Both on the 40th anniversary. Let the games begin. Let's see what comes next, but this is really very, very impressive, I must say. I really, really like everything.
The bracelet is again made of resin as always, which we already know from other models dash, which can also can be in different colors. Here now of course with the flare red in black nice, with the lettering on it. The double buckle is also interesting. The whole thing sits really tight. As soon as this is in, it won't slip anymore. And also, even if you want to pull this you want to pull this out, it's really stuck. Really very, very well thought out. That you lose the watch, you have to do something else. Resin is definitely here. A super choice and it is not susceptible to dust. Let's put the watch into the wrist. That's a beast too, guys. Really huge. Here, I am already in the penultimate hole. No, two more. Three. As I said, I already know it from the hard tour in summer, when we were down the canyon and we did acrobatic stunts. But this color here, I think it's just great. And even I, old bag, can still wear this watch without looking stupid in any way. But this is a real beast. But even with these measurements, I don't find it so bad now. Look at this, with my small, look at my wrist, how the watch looks. How does it wear? The joke is, it wears. I couldn't say right now, would I have an MTG on or not just because I turned my arm, because it is just even lighter. The strong resin tape is also on here, like on the MTG. Great watch. If I had to choose I'm from the MTG faction, but when I see this, this is also really, really nice. Fifty-four by sixty-one point two and sixteen point five thick. The MTG has a little more than thirteen millimeters high. Why is it lighter? Why is that? It's quite simple, the MTG models, they have stainless steel around the inner core and the Mudmaster models have resin, which is reinforced with fibers. This simply makes the whole thing lighter, even though it's much thicker, although it is much higher and much bigger too. Man, look at that. These are worlds already. And also the thickness. And also the thickness. And it is lighter. That's really cool. For everyone who loves the outdoors and wants to have something special on their arm, this watch is definitely is definitely a good choice. No dust particles can harm the watch either, salt water, mud, sand or the like can harm it. I already had the detailed review in the blog of two variants by now. The watch is simply a knockout. And the good thing here is also that the bezel always looks different. They even commissioned their own logo commission and the designer Eric Hayes designed this logo, which all the watches that are going to come out now, which all the clocks will have on the back. The clock is powered by TAF Solar. I'll take a closer look. With the clock you can see very nicely, the individual cells. With the MTG it is hidden, this time even even behind a pattern dial. 
Zifferblatt. Here. Here you can see it very nicely, but it also suits the watch, I think, that you can see it. It is already quite. Oh, come on. Here you can see it properly. Do you see it? I think it's very good. The energy is also stored. There is practically a small solar reservoir in there. If I leave the clock a few weeks or a few months in the drawer and then take it out, then it automatically resets itself to the correct time and runs and meanwhile she goes into a kind of deep sleep phase, where the most important functions are still working, so that the clock never completely runs out thanks to the solar storage. And here you can see a nice photo of the loom and the bezel. It's really quite a blast, because the loom is also different in each bezel. And with this GWG, it's like this, that with the connections to the case, there are also small loom dots on it, just like on the top of the four elements, that hold the casing in place, where the screws are. Vier Elementen, die das Gehäuse festhalten, wo die Schrauben drin sind. Das sieht that looks really, really cool. cool aus. Das I can't get this to show up in the video, so uh, here it is as a photo. photo. You can also have a look at the big photo, you can also have a look at it in the review. It's already in my blog, so that's really the kicker. I can't say it any other way, they did a really cool job. At MTG it also looks cool, but, but here at GWG it looks even cooler. For me it was always clear, MTG is always the first choice. But the longer I this watch in my hand. Really, you can tell, it's a bit heavier. A bit heavier. The longer I hold this watch in my hand and also just with the flare red, I wouldn't know how to decide, guys. Sure, the watch on the suit, that's a bit gross. That could really look look a bit violent. On the other hand, you also have to say I always have a hard time with this one, too. This one with the suit? Sure, this could really a bit beyond the scope. Where should I put the shirt? But I'll stick with it, it is very, very comfortable to wear. I am already really thinking about mountain biking. I like that very much, I really have to say. And the flare red, because every watch is unique and also here with the red details in here, such a blood red, also here in the writing, I really like it. I like it very, very much, and if I had to choose now, I always find it very difficult to decide, so I would have to take both. Which one would you take? That would really interest me. As I said, the MTG, the video and the review is also in the blog, also very detailed. And the GWG video we are watching right now and the post is also in my blog. Great watches, great start into the 40th anniversary year of G-Shock. Congratulations at this point, G-Shock, everything done right. I love your watches and we love your watches. There are so many followers. You guys put out so many cool watches. Thank you, thank you, and also thank you very much for tuning in again. I can tell you here already, there are some more videos on the subject of G-Shock and 40th anniversary. Be curious, subscribe to the channel. I am happy if you come back and leave a like. Until then, I wish you something. Take care. Ciao.